Welcome back to Blar, Random Work Reviews. We have a video game high school, a board game about playing video games. This game, um, I did get to play it once. It was okay. So, a lot of parts. I mean, not a lot of parts, I guess. It's just kind of extra moving components. Object game, each player will take the role of a student or a teacher, a video game high, so on and so on. You get different powers. Uh, we're just going to open it up. It's an okay game. That's all I can say. So, all these extra pieces and these tokens for bonus points are going to go on the board. All these dice with different symbols. So you keep track of those. So that's why I come and play. And you have more tokens. So that's, uh, some video game tokens like speed, um, fighting ability. And you have some more tokens. I'm not a fan of like, how this is all put together, actually. And you have your playing cards here. So the character cards. We'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, Bandies, so instructions, which are kind of kind of lengthy. Um, but I will try to show them in case you have the game and don't have the instructions. So name, skills, victories. In there as well. There's some information. The tokens. So you guys will zoom in. Here's your game setup. You can see, a bit of a mess. Your round order. So you prepare phase, reveal, roll, refresh, retrieve, player's turn phase. So that's, that's, that's too much is what it is. It really kind of is just too much for what's going on. So some cool ideas where you like kind of play video games for bonuses. Grand Theft Auditorium, playing on Different things, playing on a class, playing on power cards, gaining skill tokens. Here are your skill types. Like FPS, fighting, racing, rhythm, RTS, wild. Gaining rank. Challenge phase, winning the game. So it's a rank board, the numbers around the board. Uh, here's this flavor text of who is in the game. I don't know. Seems like a better cartoon idea than a board game. But we'll take a look at the board here. Small board. Nice art. So the RTS class, cafeteria, study hall, the daily dean, FPS class. And you learn different skills. So you put like tokens on it to learn different things. And you'll be moving around this track. I think you start at level 50. I think it goes that to get to level 1 to win the game. Uh, we'll go take a look at some of the cards. They said too many fiddly bits uh, for my liking. So these are what are these. Yeah, so these are the games you can challenge. Wrath of Galaxies. Uh, Overdrift. Cool idea. Hacks Legends, so, you know, like Knock Off, Field of Fire, and here's your, your points for these games. So these are arcade games you can play at a certain point of your turn. Uh, that's the character cards. So you have Dean Kowloon, Freddie Wong, Brian D, The Law, Keith Swan, Teddy Wong, Ted Wong, uh, Rebecca Barbara, Headshot. So these are action cards. So this goes with him, uh, Hanzo and Shiva. So you have different action cards you can play for your character at certain points in the game. So I think I use hers at Killing Spree, FPS Captain, Driven, uh, Jenny Matrix, that's her focus. So it's unfortunate, I can kind of see why this hit the thrift store. I mean, I've only seen it once, I grabbed it, played it once, and really that was enough. So it's kind of a one-time play, because it just setting, up, setting it all up for the payoff. I didn't feel it was there. Like I said, look at all, all these things. Nice dice, nice components. I can't say they did a bad job on like making the game, but as far as making the game parts, but maybe the mechanics could have been streamlined quite a bit better. So this one will be leaving the collection. So I was gonna try to sell these at a garage sale or something like that, but I think they're just gonna be given away and some other lucky collector will be able to grab them. Thanks for watching, Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Smash that like button, hit subscribe. Thanks.